Hey everyone, I am here with another quick little fun tutorial and idea for the November subscription kit. Um, and if you don't have that, that's okay. You can do this with any tabs and little tiny fun little bits you have. So I got this idea from Crafty with Tony um, and they were so cute. I knew I just had to um, make a kit that was able to kind of mimic how cute they were. So that's what I've done here. Um, so <laughs> this was another tutorial that we did. We made these tiny little bits. Um, they're just labels that we stamped. Oh, let me get that. There we go. Labels that we stamped and they're really tiny. Um, and then these little ones over here, they come just like this in the kit. And let me tell you the fun that that was to fussy cut these. <laughs> no, it wasn't too bad. They're all lined up, but they are teeny tiny. And I made them teeny tiny for this purpose. So these are also in the kit and they are just double. They come like this on the page and then you ink and fold and cut out. Uh, and I have a couple of different styles. So I just wanted to play with these and have fun. So come along, it will be fun. So what we're going to do is we're just gonna kind of pick what kind of look we're going for. I am gonna keep this fairly simple and just play. But because the theme of this kit is kind of travel-y, there's like tiny tickets, and you're gonna see um, a lot of red and black and cream, which was by design, because I wanted that color scheme. So I love that. I love that with that little hint of red sticking out from behind. Um, if we wanted, we could do a tiny bit of I have some coffee dyed cheesecloth and it's just kind of fun to add a little fabric-y texture if we want. So let's try that and let's just go ahead and put this on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my glue in the back for my little cheesecloth first. Cause I just want a little bit, it's a little bit different because you're working with things on such a tiny scale and I know some people like to use little tweezers. That would be good, that would be fine, but I'm just going for it, so. I kinda like getting my fingers all gluey. <laughs> and then this one sticks off the edge, so I'm not gonna put glue all the way to the end. I'm gonna put that right there. But the point here is that you have these beautiful tabs and it's okay if things are sticking off the edge or the top and it just adds kind of a fun little texture. So that is too perfect. I was gonna add an eyelet, but it's too, look how cute. I just don't wanna add anything else. All right, that one's done. We'll add an eyelet on another, but you can see how fast those come together once you get it going. So this one has that red background. So I think I would stick with more of a neutral image. Maybe, I have these fun little, oh, this would be cute. I like that with um, a bigger font and a littler font. I kind of like that sticking up there. That's cute. We're gonna go for it. And I really do like having that fabric-y texture, so let's not shy away from that, shall we? Ooh. Sorry about that, I bumped the camera. All right. Anyway, these are so fun come together so quick and they add such a fun little punch to any project. So you'll kind of notice, at least for me, I stick to a pretty similar kind of pattern in the design. 
where I'm going to do layering, but I don't really want to overshadow anything too much. And you kind of have this background and then two pieces. So that kind of works. You could layer more tiny bits if you wanted. This one might be fun to do an eyelet in. I'm just scared because it's so cute already. Let's try one. Let's just try it. And if it ruins it, then we know. Let's just try it. Hmm, where do I want to try it? Let's try it right here. Why not? Can't go back now. Oh, that's fun. That's fun. And just think how cute that'll look on the top of a project now. Just sticking up off of a tag or something fun. Here, let's get a little sample tag. I mean, it just adds so much to have that little tab up there. I love it. All right, let's do a couple more. I don't, I'm not gonna bore you with doing all of these, but. So these are the whale tail punches. I don't know how many of you have tried to find one of these punches, but where I am, <laughs> they're hard to find. And I really just wanna sometimes go to the Netherlands to go to their <laughs> antique and crafty shops because where I am, those are few and far between. So you could do just something huge right there, right in the middle. But I think I want to add a little tiny red accent. Look at this teeny tiny piece. Oh, but I don't want to cover that cute little thing. I have some little flag ones too. It was just a thought that I had. I don't know how they're gonna, well, it could be fun, but I don't know. I think I just like this. It doesn't need anything flashy. Cause this is a bigger piece. <laughs> by bigger, I mean an inch by half an inch or something. <laughs> but I like that. I like it. Nice and easy. All right, there's another. Now we have some that are like this, this shape. And so we really need some tiny pieces for this one because they're just itty bitty. I like the idea of a red. I want a little more inking on that one. Just add a little more oomph. And I want a teeny this. Like a long strip. Yes. Love it. You could also get some lace on there or something. It would just have to be little because these are on such a small scale. I just love the idea that it's okay if they're hanging over the edges. And that one, that one's a good candidate for an eyelet right there in that blank space. Oh, I did the small hole. That might not work here. Let's do the bigger one. There we go. You could even get some fun little dangle to dangle down through that. Oh, look how cute. All right, one more. Let's see. Let's do another one of our whale tails. I really like them. <laughs> I don't know why, but that is such a fun shape to work with. Have you guys found that you've enjoyed those? I have to cut such a small piece of this cheesecloth. All right, let's go ahead and get that on there. Trying not to over glue everything. There we go. And I think this one would be fun for the 
this shape right here. Let's begin. All of my glue is finally adding up and now it's sticking to me. Let's see, this would be cute. I love it. I mean, really, I can just pick just about anything, put it on there, and I love it. over the top yeah one more so anyway it's just fun to play with and they come together so quick so I'm gonna link that video from Tony down below and you can see her take on them as well and I'll link the kit if you're interested in trying this as a kit um, then I have all the bits and baubles right there for you and you can just play with it that way. I'm going to try one just in the center, like where it would be if you were going to use this as an actual just tag center. Does that make sense? Let's try that right there. So cute. All right. So there you go. And there's tons more to just play with, but you can see... I mean, they are just tiny little treasures and so fun. I love this black and white, how it jumps out. And a couple more. Anyway, way fun, way easy, except I will say, you guys, I put way more little pieces in this kit and I spent a good amount of time fussy cutting, but I didn't mind because I just, you know, you know me, I just turn on some show or whatever podcast and then fussy cut away so it wasn't horrible but these are tiny so heads up on that but way fun and such cute effects so anyway I hope you enjoyed it there's a lot to look at and a lot to do and I could do another 15 here and I probably will so anyway I hope you all have a wonderful day and we will talk to you later bye